Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to calculate a mode for a set of numbers. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so in the previous two videos, we had a look at um, the mean and the median. And this is, of course, mode. And this is probably one of the most, uh, one of the more easier ones. Uh, all it is is that you have to have a look at the set of numbers and decide on which one, uh, which number appears the most. So if you look at question one here, uh, we can kind of see that we've got, I mean, you can actually write them out like this. So I would actually do it like this. We've got 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, and 15. So we've got one nine, we've got two tens, we've got 11, we've got a 13, 14, and 15. And you can kind of see that the number 10 appears the most. So then you can actually say the mode for this set is equal to 10. And let's have a look at question number two here. I had to modify it a bit. Um, I will talk a little bit more about bimodal later on. But for now, we've got the numbers three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got one, two, three, four, we have it once, five, we have it once, six, we have it twice, and seven, we have it once. So for this particular case, the mode is equal to three. Uh, and, and of course, sometimes you actually get numbers that have kind of appear twice. Like um, when I say they, they might have like two numbers that um, come in a set where they have the same number of times that it comes, um, that it repeats itself. Uh, and if that's the case, then that's actually just known as bimodal. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much a quick idea of what mode is. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.